hey there, let's take a look at the pull down menu on the NPC. Often overlooked because it's kind of hidden. It's just this tiny little gray tab. And if you drag it down, you get a quick access menu. That's how I'd look at it. It's quick access to things that you'll use on a regular basis. It's pretty handy. We have this sequence one, which is the title. This represents our current location throughout the sequence. We then have our 80 BPM, so obviously the BPM for the project. We then have memory and CPU meters, so you just want to check how your machine's doing. We have in and outs for the MIDI. We have whether our Wi-Fi is turned off or on, and the same for our Bluetooth. This one here, I'm not going to press it, but if I do press that, it allows me to enter controller mode. So if this is hooked up to the computer, we could go into controller mode. Over on the far right, if you have a battery-powered NPC like I have, it's going to give you some information about the battery life. Now, the other set of options underneath, for some of these, not all of them, but for some, it will allow us to turn timing correction on or off. But if I long press it, it will give me access to the timing correction menu. We'll do that just the one time here so you can see how it works. I'm going to close it out. But that works the same on things like the metronome, stuff like that. So a long press will give you more access to the full menu. We have loops, so we can just turn the looping on and off. Our automation, do we want to arm that? We can do it here. Metronome is the same as timing correction. You can turn it off and on or long press and gain access to the menu. We have Ableton Link. Retro recording, which we've covered in another episode. We have access to the tuner. And if we move over with this little arrow, we get some MIDI options, some relating to the XY pad and just some general MIDI stuff. We'll cover that in greater depth throughout the tutorial series. But for now, that is the pull down menu.